Hello my friends, here I am again and um, this time I'm taking off from uh, runway 33 and Trinken and uh, that was a very special day because um, it was uh, a very sunny day with um, here and there sour rains and uh, it happened at this time on my way to Bielefeld. As you see, just taking off the runway 33 and everything looks okay and this is the way that I will take off and uh, rotate I will bring the gear up and then uh, I will do after climbing check uh, normally at the cutlasses you bring uh, back the round per minute at uh, 2500 and 25 manifold pressure and then uh, of course you are taking uh, of the gear as soon as you are off the ground after breaking the wheels and now I'm direction north and uh, going direction Bielefeld Here I'm approaching the sector uh, west from uh, Bielefeld at uh, approximately 4,000 feet and then I'm uh, ready to, to go overhead to the airport. As you see, you see the clouds that they are coming and uh, of course uh, I was expecting sooner or later that uh, we will have uh, showers. It was also announced and uh, there was not any problem about this. Here I am at uh, the left uh, hand uh, downwind for uh, runway 08 
and um, as you see forward there is the the parking area from uh, a company who sells uh, cars in Switzerland and then here somehow I am the end of uh, downwind and uh, I'm preparing to go to the base for runway 08 uh, as you see uh, the propeller is in the mixture is in the gear is already down and uh, of course the only thing that I have uh, to do is to uh, to bring the flaps and uh, there I turn left for finals on uh, runway 08 which uh, actually you can uh, see forward and uh, this uh, point you need to be ready you make just a, a, a last check which is gear undercarriage the mixture the propeller is in the gear of course and uh, everything is set with the appropriate approach speed and then the runway is uh, big enough so there is no any problem because I'm landing with the twin engine and of course I land easy without any problem and of course it is sunny as you see and here of course um, I'm ready to take off. I'm making the last uh, the checklist, and now, as you see, is is shower, and uh, the runway is really water contaminated. And in this case, normally you should not land. And um, I was also aware of the aqua planning, and uh, there were some particularities that I had to go. In this case, um, normally you should plan your takeoff later, but uh, in case uh, you are planning to take off with uh, some crosswind on the right side, and of course, as you see on the right side, the runway is uh, already contaminated. Then what is happening is just before the rotating speed, you see now I'm, I start uh, feeling that <laughs> I don't have any traction on the wheels. It's just before, some seconds before the rotating. And of course, because there is a crosswind from the right side, uh, just for seconds I was feeling that uh, the aeroplane was going left. Of course, this is not a big incident, and, uh, but uh, my point that I want to make here is you need to take extreme care of the aqua planning. Normally, the aqua planning in this type of uh, aeroplanes can be approximately 50 knots of rotating speed. So, with a crosswind, it will not be funny as soon as you are landing and you are on your rotation because uh, the, you will have uh, wheels aqua planning and of course uh, you will start losing control without really doing nothing because also braking is not working uh, in aqua, blind, um, aqua planning since uh, as you know uh, there is water under your wheels the particularity of uh, the retractable gear of the Cutlass is that uh, definitely it has small wheels and the aqua planning is, uh, is more fragile. So, that was my little experience from taking off from Bielefeld. As you see now, it's becoming a little bit better. Uh, I will be very glad if you could subscribe to my channel this uh, will give me the possibility to continue making videos like this. I uh, wish you a very nice day and see you later. Thank you.